Apparently those two have never been hit in the mouth before. They would have been laid out if they did that to me. Okay, buddy. I love the ha-ha replies. That's great. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to MK. I'm your host, Robin, and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash I am very badass. <laughs> I've been waiting for another one of these for quite some time now, and I am excited. Without any further ado, let's get right in there and see just how many people are way tougher than me. Biden should concede. I want his concession on my desk tomorrow morning. Don't make me come over there. Who the hell are you? Really, who are you? I know you don't represent me where I live, but still, Paul... Shut up! My father was breaking bricks, also with his forehead. I inherited his genes. 36 years, 5 foot 2, never lost in bloody knuckles. Neither. I train in Muay Thai and boxing. Let's just say I have no bullies. Sorry. The reason I read that weird is because it's written by a frickin' three-year-old, so what do you want from me? I try. I've wrapped my fists in chains and punched people multiple times in my life. It always hurts me more than the other guy. All right, that's real cool. Really effective fighting technique. I haven't cried since I was nine. Crying is for women, children, and soy boys. No matter how bad it gets, I'm not gonna cry. Normally, I would be willing to rip you apart. The only way that I know how, which is using my voice. But in this particular case, are you all right? Legitimately, it's a legitimate question. You can answer however you want. I think I know how you would, but please, just answer honestly. Why is he crying? I broke both my arms at the same time. Didn't shed a tear, didn't even say ow. That's really nifty there. Judging by your profile photo, is your name Brandon? No, it's Tyler. Wait, Kyler. I have a master's in history. Cool, cool. Uh, right? What happened in 1612? This is me. Disrespect me one more time and I'll break your legs. What? What's going on? I'm a gamer because punching people in real life is frowned upon. Exactly, it's frowned upon. It's not illegal. Wait a minute, I think I know where this is. Holy crap! <laughs> is this outside the Grafton Center in Cambridge? <laughs> Seriously, is it? That's what it looks like. If any of y'all are from that area, please let me know if I'm even remotely correct. Weak as beta male is scare of a little jail time. Last time I went to jail, they installed a mini bar and jacuzzi because I threatened to burn the place down if they didn't. I would absolutely love to see the evidence of this, especially since jail and prison are two different goddamn things. <laughs> And I'm hoping you're not interested in me because you think I'm a nerdy white boy, because that's definitely not the case. How would you describe yourself? I'm more of a bad boy. I cause a lot of mischief. Me and my boys call ourselves the Mischief Kings. Oh, I hope you're joking. Why? You're not looking for a bad boy? Dude, you were so close. You were so close, and then you opened the closet and showed her your freaking anime girl body pillow collection. Why did you do this? Detect a psychopath. Oh, I do that all the time. I'm psychopath. I don't control anger, and I'm super intelligence, and I lie 20 minus 50 plus times per day, and everyone believes me. I'm psychopath. Nice to meet you, psychopath. I'm dad. In charge? Ha 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 ha. Okay, if you say so. I went to juvie cause my teacher said he was in charge. Hit him in the back of the head with a table. With a table? Took him six years to learn how to walk again. And you are bragging about this why? You've just outed yourself as a despicable person. Do you still go around hitting people just to defy them? No, he continues to make up stupid f <gasps> stories on the internet. I realize I'm short, but I can still beat the crap out of you. And if you want to talk sh <gasps> to the person who had to watch her parents leave to train for war, you ungrateful ass, just know I won't hiasite to kill you next time I see you. All right, I'm out. If you want some, come get it, mother <gasps> If you're a b <gasps> and leave a laugh reaction on my post, I'll block you like the little b <gasps> you are. Ooh, show him, boy. You aren't laughing at this guy before clean your clock and kill you. If you did, it would be your last laugh, I guess. You b <gasps> made little keyboard warriors. Damn. Why don't you use that energy for something creative? I don't know, maybe start a gaming channel or something? Live streamed? Do something, please. I just taught some bitches a lesson. Never fuck me up, fuck me up, you die. I don't think this really applies too much to I am very badass. Dude's just excited that he whooped ass and what game is that? Dude, it's a game, who gives a sh I fight train to prevent conflict. Predators hunt prey. But predators only weak aura individuals get attacked. No one fucks with a lion. 
Do people know how to write? I guarantee you this mofo can speak English fluently, but when it comes to typing it on a keyboard, man, they turn into an aardvark on crack. You mean phase. I have a hundred guns in my living room, so don't piss me off. Why are they all in your living room? A hundred guns, even if they're small, would take up a lot of space. Turns out, alpha wolves are just devoted parents. Alpha males do not exist. In fact, the term alpha wolf was disavowed by the very scientist. I'd love to challenge this beta to a fight and see the multitude of reasons he comes up with to avoid a black eye that heals in a couple of days. Awkward shit, man. Living life afraid to live. So he's living life and afraid to live? That's what the commies get. You have never touched a firearm in your life. And you know this. How? Oh, there's an emoji. That's bad sign. I've held multiple rifles, shotguns, and pistols. That comment hurt my American pride. Actually, that is kind of endearing, I guess. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> He truly ended that the best way he could. Sister snuck a guy in. Am I the bad guy? Update from my last question. Okay, so basically my sister snuck a guy into the house. Older sister. And the guy came out of my sister's room and tried to dap me up. I knew him from sixth grade like four years ago. So I'm not with none of that friendly stuff because it's a dude in my sister's room. And I am man of the house. So I checked him and told him what it was. Told him you better not be doing nothing with my sister, especially when I'm here. I asserted dominance and had aggressive body language. He felt threatened and he tried to get all rowdy saying, oh, I play with guns, stuff like that. Claims he's in a gang. And I'm the type of guy who dies with respect. So if someone talks about guns, it just shows their weakness. What? A few minutes later, he called his pops to pick him up. His pops was respectful and told me that his son is not in a gang. We talked for a bit and they left. Do you guys think I was a bit too harsh? That happened, buddy. I'm six foot five and once choked a bull mastiff. Dog better hope he has friends. Yeah, whoosh. In what way? I know exactly what was meant, I just don't give a f It's because I'm very badass. <laughs> I walk into a building and I'm looking for exits, cameras, and threats. Millennials walk in looking for outlets to plug in their devices. We are not the same. What the f You don't need to look for the exits, they're all marked. Why are you looking for the cameras? Who gives a sh They're looking at you. And threats? Dude, it's a safe way. Go get your milk and get the f out of here, you freaking gravy seal cosplaying piece of sh Last seen three days ago. Okay. You freaking piece of crap. I opened that damn chest and you came and stole my freaking gun. I'll kill your whole family right now in front of you, you whoa. <laughs> Calm down, loser. LOL, you suck. You think this is a game? Are you kidding me, you cuck? I promise I will come to your house and pull back the blanket and cuddle with you the whole Okay, he won. I'm sorry. He won! Dude, he kicked your ass! Once, I was working the liquor store, and a nerd comes in with a gun to try and hold up the place. I smile and just say, is it worth getting crippled over 70 bucks? I'll probably end up in prison with you, and I'll knock you around every day. You best make up your mind now, because your life is about to change. He started backing away. Then he ran out the door. And then he came back in and told me I was very handsome, and he wanted to marry me and be my sex slave. There were seven stunned people in the store who all started clapping. I know you think I added that part, but did I really? Also, did not take us long to get to the clapping. The clapping is so amazing to me. My friends and I have debates on if I can kill a deer with my bare hands. Light f***ing work, if you ask me. What the hell are you talking about? If you don't want to be hurt or ditched, annoyed, etc. in your future, unadd me. I'm a cold-hearted bitch, and I'll end up hurting you like you're nothing. And I don't want to do that. It sounds like you really do. Man, she's like a bullet bill. You can dodge this one real easy, dude. Don't ever be f***ing rude to me again. Ha! This makes my laugh. Are you really that delusional that you think you are badass? No, not with that attitude. Does a gunshot to your head make you laugh? Uh, no, that would that would probably kill me. I don't ever check my heart rate. That's for freaking losers who think heart rate while exercising means jack. A 600 pound man has a heart rate as fast as a runner just by standing up. I'm, I'm a little confused here. If it doesn't matter, then why are you, holy sh I don't play airsoft or paintball. I play with firearms. When someone gets hit, it leaves a bloody hole. So now they can't say they didn't get hit. What? You don't, huh? You just admitted to messing around with firearms and shooting people? Is that okay? I mean, I know this is America and all, but really? I'm an introvert and a loner. Ugh, because I like being alone. I don't like showing emotions, but when I get pissed off, crap gets messy. So just don't piss me off. All right, again, this is another slow bullet, so just 
Move slightly to the left at your leisure. Oh, hello, Tyler. I kill people I like. Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. And someone's acting like a blue-haired protagonist today. It's really cute, Tyler. Until it comes time to, you know, start dating 3D women. I wonder how the guy who murdered thousands of people to teach his son a lesson before beating the kid within an inch of his life will rank. He's the best dad. I wish he was my dad. Only difference, unlike his loser of a son, I would have joined my dad in the conquest of the universe. Is this about Omni-Man? Or whatever the- I don't know, dude. I didn't watch it. I'm sorry. I'd say break a leg, but I might end up breaking yours literally, and I'm gonna make this as painful as possible for you. Again, we got more blue-haired protagonist syndrome going on! This is not an anime. You are not the main character. You are not the chosen one. Chill the f*** out. Had a guy in Oakleaf yesterday walking around with a clipboard going door to door. I don't know what he was doing, but he noticed me, waved, and kept walking. I guess after he saw me get out of my truck with a holstered pistol, he didn't want to talk. People like this are scared of everything. Seriously, what the hell do you need that pistol for? Right at this exact moment, that guy walking around with a clipboard is probably a 20-year-old trying to sell f***ing subscriptions to pay for something. I don't know, we get them like that all the time up here. But you know what we don't do? Threaten them with a gun? Just remember what I said before. It's all cosplay. Assume that God exists, and that you are permitted to ask one question. What would you ask? I wouldn't ask a single question. I'd start beating the ever-loving sh** out of him. However, and he would deserve every single blow. For his sake, it's a good thing he probably doesn't exist. I'm sorry, I read that with a southern accent, knowing full well this is probably some 14-year-old atheist making this comment. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This is probably the only person I would actually trust to be able to do what they say they can do. I mean, seriously, he says he'd start beating up God. You know what? I'm on this guy's side. I've been robbed at knife point. It changes a man. The real world hits you hard and you reevaluate everything. Up until that point, bad things only ever happen to other people. I was robbed at gunpoint once and it didn't change me one bit. I don't even lock my door at night. Maybe a person can't choose how they respond to different situations, but I'm thankful that I don't live in fear. Uh-huh. That's nice, I guess. Freak. The only way to get them to leave you alone is to get nasty aggressive. They hang up crying when I'm done with them. I tell them I want immediate payment of the $41,000 for violating the do not call list, and when they sidestep that, I go down the you must be calling from an autonomous zone with no laws path and demand their location so I can come over there and shoot them between the eyes. Your choice, cough up the money or die. It takes several months of that to make the call volume drop. You know, I'm not a fan of spam calls either. You know, like the real scammy ones, but f <gasps> calm down. They are so heavily screened now, you can take a f <gasps> chill pill. And if you still have a home phone, it's kind of a you problem. Did I beat on a guy's door and screamed at him for 10 minutes to get <gasps> back from him for SYD? Yes. Did I make him scared? Yes. Did I make him cry? Oh, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, you're pretty sure? He didn't want to open the freaking door, so I made it very clear he was going to tonight. And there's a reason why I keep the metal pole with me. He was scared shitless of me, stan at his door yelling with my metal stick. What an interesting story, sweetheart. Hello. This is Madison's boyfriend. I'm probably going to be taking care of her streaks for her. Just know all you thirsty creeps out there better leave her the f*** alone or else I'm gonna have to hurt you. And I'm not one to f*** with at all, if you dare. Send any nudes, ask for nudes, ask to link, ask to go on a drive with her somewhere, doesn't matter where, or ask for anything personal. I will f find you and I will beat you worse than your parents ever will, understand? If not, then you can f*** off and suck a dick. Madison. Madison, my sweet dear. You need to leave this eight-year-old monstrosity as fast as you can. There's setting boundaries with your significant other. And then there's doing this. This guy's gonna kill her. When I was nine years old, I accidentally broke the world record for the 5K, 10K, and 20K. The 20K? Because I woke up late and didn't want to be late for school. It's amazing how easy things are when you are under 10. Hold, uh, hold, hold on. Give me one second here. You know what? It's not even worth researching. Why do I even bother? What's your favorite Pokemon and why? Incineroar. I don't know. Just kind of reminds me of my bad temper and violent tendencies. Oh my god, does your little guy there have a fedora <laughs> and a bolo tie? Okay, maybe the bolo tie is a little bit of a stretch, but that hat though, my god. What? It's low resolution. I can't really tell all that much. Is spraying someone with a water gun considered assault? 
If I don't know you and you're an adult, I would consider it good enough of an excuse to beat you senseless or maybe even shoot you. You belong somewhere that you cannot talk to the public, you freak, because I know what can be put into a water sprayer. Spray me with something that doesn't immediately cause burns and I'm going to beat you and hold you for the police until the liquid can be tested. If it even tingles, I'm going to shoot you. Okay, that's not allowed. Because I know what can be put into a water- Yeah, you f***ing mentioned that, Dingleberry. The number of things that can be put into a water sprayer that can cause permanent scarring and death is not small. Acid attacks are becoming more common. Look, we f get it. We understand. You can put dangerous things into a water gun, but maybe if a couple of teenagers roll up on you and shoot you with water, you don't need to shoot them in the head or something like that because you automatically assume they're trying to melt you to death in the fucking streets, psycho. I avoid fights so no one can witness my inner werewolf. I'm gonna use this on my Tinder profile. You think it'll work? Hey, champ, you better stop talking to my girl on kick or you and I will have to have a little chat. Impressive. Wow, you a big man, ain't you, boy? Ain't you, boy? <laughs> and on that incredibly glorious note, we've come to the end of another video, folks. Before we get going, though, let's take a look at today's fan art. My first fan art of Team MK. <gasps> I'm a human again. Look at that. Look at how cute we all are. That's just fantastic. You did a fantastic job here, man. Always remember, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, well, then make sure to get yourself subscribed and click that bell icon. You know what to do. And if you're feeling super generous, why not check out my links in the description down below? Come on, I'd love to have you around. I just uploaded some new content recently. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you later.